Okay. So on behalf of the marketing and management section of IFLA, we would like to say thank you for joining us and agreeing to share your thoughts and experiences as a library manager. We would like to start our interview by giving you an opportunity to introduce yourself. Oh, greetings uh, from Lira University. My name is Andrew Ojilong. I am currently the senior university librarian and uh, I'm the senior librarian and the acting university librarian. And currently I'm also handling issues to do with the strategic development of the library infrastructure and then uh, other aspects of development of resources that include information and library resources. So I'm also volunteering with the MasterCard Foundation as a mentor and mentoring Generation Africa. I'm also currently uh, engaged with the UN SDG action activities and consortium of Uganda Inverse Libraries where I was previously the vice chairperson and uh, also serving currently as the director of public relations. So basing on that background, I feel that uh, the challenges that I'm facing currently are broad in nature because it involves managing my own library and also volunteering and multitasking as an information professional. Thank you. Great. So you already addressed some of the challenges, but what are some of the other unique challenges that you face in managing your library? So yes, thank you, Stephen. Some of the unique challenges that I face, uh, mainly uh, the challenge of space and then staffing, we, we very few in the library as opposed to some libraries of our size. And then we also, uh, when compared to some other libraries of our size, and then we also faced with the challenge of growing user numbers as we introduce newer programs as an emerging university that is coming up uh, slowly, uh, growing slowly to meet the, uh, the, the, the country, uh, teaching and training demands at a, a higher education level. So we feel that uh, the size of the library uh, needed to be considered when the initial planning was taking place. But in this case, we are managing still by trying to incorporate the e-learning strategies and uh, e-resources utilization. Thank you. So uh, what skills would you encourage emerging managers to develop to be successful? Yes, the skills that I would encourage the emerging managers to uh, adopt to be successful would include how to bring the best out of people, uh, how to encourage and reward innovation, uh, how to avoid uh, compromising uh, objectives uh, in favor of short-term benefits, and then how to retool the existing uh, business model and reconfigure the library's value. And also, I would encourage them to, 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 to try to learn about how to develop purpose-driven leadership above all, and how to cultivate uh, human capital, talent uh, as a strategic corporate asset, and enhance productivity. So those are some of the things I would really recommend. Thank you. Good. So what management skills are you currently developing and learning? Oh, the management skills that I'm currently uh, developing includes people skills, uh, emotional intelligence. I'm trying to read around that and really uh, trying to encourage, uh, encourage uh, most of the people to open up in the, within the workplace. And 
Yeah, and also conflict resolution skills and techniques, because right now there are a lot of things that come up. There are those people who would want to be promoted. There are those who would want uh, salary increment and then with conflict within uh, the work environment, uh, the fellow colleagues, interdepartmental conflicts. So those are the things I'm trying to focus on. And also how to operate uh, among other leaders in an increasingly complex and deeply connected world. And also we, we are facing a challenge right now of how to harness technology uh, that enables free flow of information. So I'd really like to be able to uh, understand the things and how to develop a culture of leadership of being uh, innovative and strategic about uh, knowing about how to focus and work towards the direction of leadership. And then the other thing would be how to build technology-driven services uh, that are cross-cutting in a more collaborative way. Okay, so the final question is, what motivates you as a manager? What motivates me as a manager is the thirst for knowledge and wisdom, uh, the ability to learn new skills, uh, the ability to influence and motivate others also motivates me, knowing that humans are prone to making errors also motivates me because I'm not, whenever I make an error, I feel that, yes, uh, there's an opportunity, there's a window to make changes, to amend things. And then the fact that I'm still young and energetic uh, also motivates me because, you know, as Jack Ma put it, that the best asset that you have is the fact that you're still young. So I would like <laughs> to use that as an opportunity to grow in leadership and also the ability to really uh, learn other things and then configure, collect the energy within me and be able to, uh, you know, to push forward and engage with other leaders across the globe. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.